time to eat your standard. Go get your world standard, check that off the box, and then not worry about it. But it always makes me really anxious by the time I get to outdoors. Like I've raced a ton, I'm already kind of like nerved out. So not doing it and coming into these a little bit a little bit fresher, I feel yeah, better. I so so Luke is not only a marathoner, but very zen. Oh, he's very zen, yeah. A lot of long miles and a lot of just like, you know, everything's pretty good. So just enjoying life. Do you have any like nerves maybe around this just because the last world championship trials didn't go so well for you? <laughs> you know, I think about that a lot. Um, and I really, I still stand by what I did. You know, if I blame it a lot on Centro kind of battling for me or with me over the last, you know, 600, 700. If he wouldn't have done that, I would have had it. <laughs> but him and I both made the consequence for it. But I still like the idea of it. I still love the idea of doing something like that. So I got to kind of mull over my decisions and see what Sunday brings. How difficult How difficult is it to race Matthew in these championship races? Uh, I don't know. I haven't, you know, I've done it a lot. Um, I don't know yet. We'll see on Sunday. Ask me on Sunday. <laughs> Who have you been doing your workouts with of late? Uh, a lot with Pat Casey. Him and I spent a lot of time in Europe together. Um, we have a really good like yin and yang going, um, and then a little bit with Hassan Mead. So, how is your health and fitness this year? You know, uh, pretty good. I'm still upright and feeling pretty good. So, we'll see. thirty threshold. I did. Yeah. Uh, I was really sad. Very sad. Uh, but other than that, I feel pretty good. Is your hair shorter? Mm -hmm. I cut a ton off and kind of a whole new me. Yeah. Past the 30 threshold? I thought you turned 30 like eight years ago. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, you know, right. We know that's unconfirmed. Yeah, unconfirmed. But... So you're an actual grown up now. I'm an actual grown up, yeah. I don't know. My parents might debate that. <laughs> my wife might debate that. What was the plan going into the race today? Uh. Just have fun. I was really hoping that Clayton and uh, Lopez would line up, but I figured after Lopez's Big 10K, he wasn't. And I thought Clayton was kind of playing head games, but I was really looking forward to him. So. You were looking over your shoulder a lot there down the stretch. What was going on there? Uh, just making sure we were okay. We had about 100 to go. We kind of settled back and mm -hmm. just making sure we were clear. So. Is it kind of just a top three focus, or are you thinking, like, I have a shot to win, maybe I'll go for that? No, I didn't, I didn't really care about that too much. I just wanted to just get through. I mean, I'm on the final. For the oh, final. on the final? Yeah, I think so. So I have to see who made it, but yeah, it should be fun. So, yeah, I probably want to win. So we'll see. I'll probably do something really stupid, so we'll have to decide. Do you have some family and friends down here since it's so close to home? Yeah, my parents came down, um, and then my wife came out. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. How long have you been married? Zero. Zero times. They just call her the wife. She really likes it. Thank you. <laughs>